I'd like to call the uh, Sheboygan County Board of Supervisors Tuesday, December 20th, 2016 monthly meeting to order and certification of compliance with the open meeting law. Uh, the agenda was posted December 16th at 1230. And tonight we have a Boy Scout, Everett Poth, who is going to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. So Everett, would you please come up? Thank you, Everett. Roll call. Missing two. Do we get that we have to just it's twenty three kind of things. Somebody popped off and popped in. Where's your camera? Who do we need? One more. Who's 13? Who's 13? Fran? Yeah. Just as, just as, I can't undo you because you clicked it too fast. Who's number 13? Fran. George. No, George. George? I'm waiting for Fran. I can't. Just say 23 present because she undid hers but after I pushed That's it fine. We'll count her present. 23 supervisors are present. Good to see Sheboygan Falls is trying to help Plymouth out there. That was good. <laughs> okay, approval of November 1st, 2016 journal. Supervisor Winkle. Motion to approve, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Supervisor Winkle. Supervisor Glavin. I'll support that motion. Thank you, Supervisor Glavin. Any discussion? Okay, please push your I button or nay. Fran needs to check there she in goes. first. Okay, All right. I'll go ahead. Now you can push your buttons. Mm -hmm. Just a second. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, again. Oh. Sure. <laughs> you know what? It has to be at the very bottom of yep. that box. That should be right in the middle. Steve, no. Steve, no, push yours. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that motion is approved unanimously. Thank you. It's been seven weeks since we had a meeting. That's how it goes. Okay, consideration of appointments by the chairperson. To the Monarch Library System, subject to adoption of ordinance number nine later on. Uh, William Gehring, Kathy Norman, Tom Doan, and Wendy Schobert. And to the Veterans Service Commission, David Williams. Supervisor Glavin. Um, motion to approve. Thank you, Supervisor Glavin. Supervisor Testrodi. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'll second that motion. Thank you, Supervisor Testrodi. Discussion? All those in favor, vote aye. Those opposed, nay. Motion is approved unanimously. Consideration of appointments by the county administrator. To the airport advisory committee, Mindy Smith, communications council, Daniel Althaus, emergency medical services council, Dan Althaus, and local emergency planning committee, Dan Althaus. Supervisor Uraner. I move to accept those nominations. Thank you, Supervisor Uraner. Supervisor Winkle. I'll second that, but it's actually appointments. Thank you. Any other discussion? All those in favor, say aye. Opposed? Nay. good 
Yep. Motion to approve unanimously. Presentations. Uh, we have none. Public addresses. There are none. Letters, communications, and announcements. There's one resolution from the Marinette Board of Supervisors requesting the state legislature to enact legislation authorizing any county to impose a 0.1% sales tax for economic development, tourism, and infrastructure. Refer that to the Finance Committee. That is it. Thank you. County Administrator's Report. Well, thank you, Mr. Chairman, and good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Who here reads the sounder? <laughs> a couple of hands went up. You know, we talk about the Plymouth Review quite a bit up here, don't we, Mr. Feldner? The Plymouth <laughs> Review does a nice job covering county government. The Sheboygan Press has been a little lean on reporters for a while, and we haven't seen them here as much. The Sounder, I don't know if I've ever seen a reporter here, but I do receive a copy of the Sounder, and if you're not aware of it, Bill Gehring is one of the routine writers for the Sounder, and in the Random Lake Sounder dated December 15th over the noon hour today over a delicious bowl of chicken soup, I read Mr. Gehring's report to the community and it's entitled County Accomplished Much in 2016 and not only was it well written but it gave a nice high-end overview of many of the good things that we as a county board and a management team and staff and community have accomplished. So I wanted to give a shout out to Bill Gehring and thank him for raising some awareness to the good work that collectively we've done. I also had my attention a grab by this paper because on the front page is a nice picture of Ermgart and Everett Arndt celebrating 75 years of marriage. 75 years. How often do you hear of that? So my, my compliments to them. They, they started their lives as high school sweethearts in Random Lake and now continue to reside there. And as I was reviewing that, I was thinking about our county board a little bit. 75 years of marriage, we have a birthday boy amongst who's just celebrated an 87th birthday. Isn't that right, Supervisor Charlie Conrardi? Yeah, in March. In March. It'll be 88 this March. It'll be 88 this March. Yep. Your Christmas card said you just celebrated it, or maybe I read that right. <laughs> well, when you're 88. You can older things to I see, I see. So, it was nice to, nice to read that about our organization, and I want to thank Bill because he's been doing that for a number of years. So if you aren't aware of it, another paper that follows county government. And speaking of good news, on your desk this evening is a copy of the 2017 Adopted Budget, the five-year capital plan. And for those of you who have been on the board for a while, you'll appreciate that not only does it take a lot of time and effort to develop these documents, but every year we seek to continuously improve. And Wendy Sharnan and the Finance Department have continued to take on that challenge. A lot of good work. You've obviously adopted both these documents, but please take a look at them as you wish. I keep them close to my desk and was just referring to them earlier today as I was thinking about this evening. On the note of good reporting, if you didn't get a chance to see it, and I don't know if it was in the Sheboygan Press or will be, but for the third consecutive year, Sheboygan County was awarded the Certificate of Achievement for Excellence in Financial Reporting. Since we do have Emmett Feldner here this evening, perhaps we'll take a moment to talk about this, and maybe it'll be, maybe it'll be out there sometime. The Certificate of Achievement for Excellence in Financial Reporting has been awarded to Sheboygan County by the Government of Finance Officers Association of the United States and Canada for its comprehensive annual financial report for the fiscal year ending December 31st, 2015. The Certificate of Achievement is the highest form of recognition in the area of governmental accounting and financial reporting, and its attainment represents a significant accomplishment by a government and its management team. Well done. This award program was established to encourage and assist state and local governments to go above and beyond the minimum requirements of generally accepted accounting principles and prepare annual financial reports that demonstrate the spirit of transparency and full disclosure. 
Reports submitted for consideration are reviewed by a selected member of the GFOA professional staff and special review committee, including individuals with expertise in public sector financial reporting, such as financial statement preparers, independent auditors, academics, and other finance professionals. Third consecutive year that Sheboygan County has received it. The first, I believe, under finance director Wendy Sharnan's leadership. The last was actually when Mary Wegman was still here as a deputy and she did a terrific job preparing for it. And I want to acknowledge Wendy and ask her to come forward if she would, just for a moment. Just for a brief moment, there will not be a slide presentation. This is one of Wendy's favorite things to do. I'm not going to share what's in this gift bag, but let's just say Wendy's going to enjoy it. So I want to thank Wendy for her leadership her strength, the excellent job she's done the past year as our finance director, and both of us having sweaty hands. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. As you know, Wendy has undergone some staff changes as well and is still building that team, but continues to make good things happen, and we appreciate it. This is the nice. Uh, certificate that we receive that I believe a plaque or something is forthcoming that Wendy or one of us will be able to put in our office and I certainly think, think the finance department would be the right place. If the chair and vice chairman please join me. One of the things I love about the holidays and I'm sure most of us if not all of us are on the same page there it's a time to give thanks and to see family and friends and reflect and it's also the time of the year where we identify and acknowledge some good people who have um, been here for a number of years. So tonight we have three pins to give out to three department heads celebrating 10 or 15 consecutive years. Would Ellen Schleicher please come forward? Ellen Schleicher was appointed to the Office of Register of Deeds to fill the vacancy in January 2006 when Darlene Novice retired. Can you believe it's been 10 years already? It doesn't feel like it's been 10 years. In fact, she was just here, was it last week for Nyla Bourne's 31 year anniversary and retirement celebration, right? It was good to see Darlene again. Ellen's been here since 2006 and after being appointed was subsequently elected five times. The Register of Deeds Office is responsible for recording deeds, mortgages, and other legal documents including new subdivision plats and certified survey maps. The office also maintains a record of all Sheboygan County birth certificates, marriage and death certificates, military records, and corporate filings. Very important office doing very important work. Ellen oversees an operating budget of about $650,000, seven employees, and is the only department that does not rely on the property tax levy to maintain its operations. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Over the years, Ellen and her team have made a number of enhancements to the Register of Deeds office, including upgrades to the land record software, which allows people to view or access the record doc recorded documents online, electronic recording, which is a means to receive documents electronically, saving time and money, scanned in all the certified survey maps and plats, allowing them to be viewed via computer, scanned all documents dating back to 1938 approximately 1.7 million documents to better protect and preserve Sheboygan County's land record history. Continue to back index documents so they are available to online customers and she also worked with the state vitals to help initiate their online issuance of birth, death, and marriage certificates. But I'll tell you what I have appreciated about Ellen the most absolutely the most is when she started she absolutely made customer service her number one priority and focus in the 10 years that Ellen Schleicher has been the Register of Deeds I can count on one hand 
how many complaints I've gotten about that department. And when you think of the vast number of customers that go through that office and interact and rely on her and her staff for information and to record documents and get timely information back to them, it is remarkable how little complaints I've heard since she has taken the reins. Ellen has excellent people skills, she provides excellent customer service, and please join the chairman and vice chairman and I in recognizing Ellen for 10 years of consecutive service to the people of Sheboygan County. <laughs> Jim to Beast. He thought he was going to be last because he's at 15 years, but no. We'll bring him in right away. Jim Tobias, 15 years. Jim was hired as the Assistant Building Services Director in 2000. I started in 1999 and there was an individual named Vern Gross who was our Building Service Director. Many of you are nodding. Vern knew this place inside and out and did he have a rapport with County Board Supervisors. I think whatever Vern wanted to get accomplished generally got done because he just, he had such good rapport, he built that and he knew this place, but he was gonna be retiring. I think when he retired, he may have been in his 70s. I mean, he was here with us for a while. Good man. He hired Jim Tobiest as his assistant. In part, it was strategic on our part for succession planning because we wanted someone with Jim's skill set and ability to learn from Vern before he moved on. And in 2003, we promoted Jim to the building services director. The building services department maintains the building and grounds and provides custodial responsibilities for 20 buildings, all of which we largely take for granted until you walk into the hallway and it's a mess or the bathroom hasn't been cleaned. Jim and his staff do an excellent job. They provide cleaning and maintenance support on 489,000 square feet. Jim oversees a budget of 3.2 million and he works with 34 staff. Jim also provides key oversight and coordination for new building projects. His expertise, his educational background and expertise make him so important to this organization. Most recently, he worked with the Combined Dispatch Center, the UW Sheboygan Engineering Lab, the Health and Human Services Building Lobby Addition and Remodeling, the new Taylor Park Pavilion, replacing roofs, boilers, air conditioners, generators as needed. He puts a plan in place, he works with the property committee very effectively, and he makes good things happen. We are fortunate that Jim's been with us for the last 15 years. In 2009, he took a key leadership role on the county's energy team. And since we established that team, and I know Supervisor Baumgart wanted that to happen as well, we have since saved nearly $1 million in energy conservation practices. I think it's 975,000 or something like that. It's made a difference. Jim has made a difference. He's now working very closely with Greg Schnell and others on the design of the new 25 million transportation complex as we were going through this, determining who we were going to select, who was the contractors we were going to be working with. They kept emphasizing to us as an organization how important it is to have someone like Jim who can oversee and has the background and ability to troubleshoot, know what needs to be done, hold people accountable. Not only does he bring a wealth of knowledge, but he has an excellent track record of overseeing projects and being sure they are completed with budget. Important to everyone in this room. Please join Chairman Wagner, Vice Chairman Marthenzi and I in thanking Jim for 15 years of dedicated service to the people of Sheboygan County. Mr. Schnell. Speaking of Greg Schnell, Greg was hired as our transportation director in October 2006. The transportation department's highway division maintains 451 miles of county trunk highways, 170 miles of state trunk and interstate highways, and 465 miles of local township roads, which equates to 2,172 lane miles of maintenance responsibility. And we wonder why some people complain when their road isn't plowed the first few hours. It's remarkable 
what the transportation department and the highway division is responsible for. In addition to plowing snow, major operations include gravel crushing, blacktop production, grading, paving, road construction, bridge maintenance, and roadway marking and signing. The Transportation Department's Airport Division is responsible for the development, maintenance, and operation of our County Memorial Airport. A number of years ago, we combined these two, two departments into one, and Greg had the leadership, skills, ability to consolidate and be the department head over both areas. Our County Memorial Airport, which ranks seventh out of the 16th largest general aviation corporate airports in the state, with approximately 38,000 flights, arrivals annually. A lot going on at that airport, again, under Greg's oversight and leadership. In addition to these two areas, some specifics. Greg was part of consolidating and closing the Adele shed after being part of an operational review that mentioned we could close some sheds in this organization and consolidate. He helped make it happen. He initiated a number of intersection safety improvements, including at County Trunk Highway OK, County Trunk EE and A, EE, and garnered 1.3 million in grants to assist with this. <clears throat> I think one of the more remarkable things Greg's done during his tenure is he helped relocate Lakeshore Road, formerly known as County Trunk Highway LS, that was eroding into Lake Michigan. And for literally decades, we've been concerned about as an organization. Literally, the erosion was up to the road and in some places underneath the road. It was time something had to be done. And to Greg's credit, he worked with seven different municipalities, three of which were in Manitowoc County, got everyone to come together, everyone to put some skin in the game. The state got involved. They provided a little over $4 million in grant assistance. And at the end of the day, Greg and our transportation department and the excellent men and women that work there got the job done. We now transferred jurisdictional authority where Sheboygan County is responsible for the new Dairyland Drive, County Trunk Highway DL, and the local municipalities are responsible for the remainder of the Lakeshore Road that was improved before we turned it over to them. Incredible effort and an example of good things can get done when you can get everyone to work together and collaborate. This past year, Greg, as well as Wendy and others in this room, assisted in the half percent county sales tax proposal, which was some tremendous heavy lifting. And now we're gonna have dedicated funding for our transportation system going forward, reduce our reliance on borrowing, provide property tax relief, and share some of that revenue with other municipalities. He negotiated the purchase of land for the new transportation complex that we broke ground on in November, and as you know, helped garner support for the new consolidated facility, consolidating Plymouth, Elkhart Lake, and the main headquarters in Sheboygan into that facility. I'd say that's a pretty good laundry list. No, you're much too young to retire. So with that, Please join the chair and vice chair and me in, in thanking Greg and acknowledging his 10 years of dedicated service to the people of Sheboygan County. Thank you, Greg. I'll excuse the two bosses. You can stay here for a second. You remember when uh, Greg surprised us? Was that this year or last year, Greg? Was that this year when he, when he stood up in the back of the room and he, he sang the uh, national anthem, right? I don't know about you, but the hair went up on the back of my neck. I thought that was pretty cool. We didn't know until the last couple of years that we had a very talented department head who, could, who had some pipes. He sings at some weddings, he'll sing at a funeral, so if you're looking for a singer. <laughs> so. <laughs> Don't read into that comment. <laughs> I'm sorry. I Never mind. So I was going to break into, you know, maybe some Christmas music and, and treat the group. Immediately I can see the fear in everyone's eyes. <laughs> so rather than doing that, but in the spirit of Christmas and, and celebrating, we also have another very, very 
talented singer amongst us. Would Supervisor Keith Obler be willing to come forward and share his pipes with us? <laughs> Keith is the kind of individual that no, when, no matter where he goes, he always tends to keep a guitar somewhere. So, <laughs> so we're hoping that you know maybe he put one in the back closet just in case this opportunity ever happened. Not certain. In fact, he, he may not come back out of that room. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to turn it over to two very talented individuals, and I wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Adam for setting that up and Thanks. Keith and Greg super job thank you very much for doing that for us great job okay consideration of committee reports executive committee ordinance number eight regarding modifying Taylor Park regulations committee recommendation to enact supervisor Gehring thank you mr. chairman I move to enact ordinance number eight thank you supervisor Gehring Supervisor Testrodi. 
Mr. Chairman, I'll second that motion. Thank you, Supervisor Testrodi. Any discussion? Okay, if not, please push your I or nay button. That motion is approved unanimously. <coughs> Thank you. Ordinance number nine. Regarding amending library systems provision to reflect merger, committee recommendation to enact. Supervisor Gehring. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I move to enact ordinance number nine. Thank you, Supervisor Gehring. Supervisor Uraner. I'll second that motion. Thank you, Supervisor Uraner. Any discussion? Seeing none, please push your I or nay button. The motion is also approved unanimously. Thank you. I'll turn the gavel over to Vice Chairman Marthenzi. Resolutions introduced, there are none. Ordinance introduced, of ordinance number 10 from the Planning Resources Agriculture and Extension Committee. Regarding repealing and recreating chapter 70 sanitary regulations. Ordinance number 10 is referred to the Executive Committee. Ordinance number 11 from the Planning Resources Agriculture and Extension Committee. Regarding repealing and recreating chapter 75 erosion control and stormwater management ordinance. Ordinance number 11 is referred to the Executive Committee. At this time, uh, adjournment is in order. Uh, Supervisor Bemis. I move we adjourn. Motion is adjournment. Second. Supervisor Winkle. Second. Motion and second to adjourn. All in favor, vote aye. Opposed, vote no. We stand adjourned. <laughs>